Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And Donald Trump has shaken the political world with his possible vice presidential pick. He just announced it. We just heard it. We're going to talk about it here. But before we get started, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. So former President Donald Trump called into a Newsmax show where the host asked him about possible running mates and a few names were mentioned. Now, the host hit him with the usual names, of course, and, you know, Trump kind of eh, batted them away a little bit. But then he came to an interesting name that Trump said was a very smart man, and Trump had nothing but praise for this man. And this man is none other than Robert Kennedy Jr. Now, you may have heard this rumor circulating. It's been a rumor for a while. It's something Steve Bannon says he wants. Now, Trump said he saw him po polling as high as 23% in the Democrat primary. I've not seen that. I've seen polls at around 17%. But 17% of Democrats that want this guy is a significant number. When you couple that with the number of Democrats who do not want Joe Biden, you're not going to get 17% of Democrats if Kennedy joins Trump's ticket. You're not. You're not going to get 17% of Democrats that say, well, because Kennedy's there, I'll pick Trump. Most of them hate Trump way too much for that. But will you get enough that you can slice off just enough that you could win the important swing states? Especially if you couple that with the fact that Joe Manchin might be running on the no labels ticket and Cornell West might be running on the Green Party ticket. And at this point, it's just a matter of mathematics. It's a matter of can you slice off enough votes from Joe Biden that Trump can win? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Trump's gaining new votes from 2020. I think what he got in 2020, he got, and he'd be fortunate to recapture that. It was a lot. It was the most any sitting president ever got. So I don't think he's winning any new votes. I don't think any Democrats are looking at all the cases against him and saying, gosh, I'm going to jump on the Trump train now. I don't think that's happening. I think those cases and stuff are reinforcing their own ridiculous stereotypes about this man. I think they don't see them as the political witch hunt we see them as. So I don't think that's going to happen. But if Trump can keep his voters and then slice off votes from Joe Biden, that can still result in a victory for him. Again, it's a mathematics game. Do you want to go in and railroad and, and win in a landslide? Yes. But you have to be realistic about things. That's probably not going to happen. But if you can mathematically maneuver it in terms of votes, in terms of slicing enough of the vote away from Joe Biden and keep your base, that can put you in the White House. And a win is a win is a win is a win. So if you look at it from that perspective, having Robert Kennedy as his vice president is not a bad decision. In fact, it might be his best decision. Because if you pick another Republican, well, okay, the Republicans are going to vote for that guy anyway. It's not going to add people. But when you come in with a Democrat who's, you know, more of a conservative Democrat, you're showing a unifying thing to the American people. And you can run on a unity ticket, that's going to slice some Democrats away. And that's going to cut into Biden's votes. And when you're neck and neck like Trump and Biden are in the polls right now, that's probably enough to get you over the finish line. I want to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If not Kennedy, who would you pick for vice president? Or do you think Kennedy is the right choice? Let me know. Again, please remember to share, to like, and to subscribe as well. Again, it really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explained America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.